Let's face it, this year has been rough, but we can finish 2020 on a high with a fantastic Christmas dinner. My name is James Howe from Chef at Home and this is my ultimate guide to Christmas dinner 2020. Now yesterday we cooked our joints of meat and it left us with this fantastic meat stock left in the trays. So now what we need to do is turn this into the gravy. Now you could do this as separate sauces for separate meats, but I'm gonna put it into all together as a really rich sauce. So the first thing is just to strain our stocks through the chinois or a sieve if you don't have one. And just get all those liquids out of the stock and just squeeze the vegetables through. So now with this pan onto the heat, and we're just gonna bring this to the boil. While we wait, I'm also gonna pour in about half a bottle of red wine. So this would be the first job I'd do to, when I'm starting to build everything together. The reason for that is that the, on the day, this bit's gonna take the longest, just because I'm gonna gently reduce that stock down with the wine and everything in there. And I'm just gonna reduce this down until I get a lovely syrupy, silky sauce. If you don't wanna wait, you could use corn flour or, or gravy granules, but for me, I think I've put all this effort into making sure the meat is fantastic, the stock is amazing. All I wanna do is enhance it, I don't wanna change it by chucking a load of bisto in there. So over the next hour, I'm just gonna come back to it and stir it and see how thick it's getting. So now after around about an hour, I'm just gonna check the thickness, it looks pretty spot on to be fair. Check it on the back of a spoon, just by dipping it in, a bit like a dipstick on a car. Lift it up and just run a finger along. And if you can see a track line across the spoon and it's holding its shape, it's the perfect consistency. So I'm just gonna leave that to simmer. Now there's just one final thing to do and that's to carve. So I'm gonna show you carving off one portion from each joint and then we're gonna look at plating up. First, the turkey. If this was hot, you'd probably need a carving fork, but it's been nicely chilled. And honestly, the knife is going through effortlessly. Onto the beef. Now, I was hoping this was gonna be still pink in the middle. Let's see. Oh yes, there is. There is definitely some pink left in there. Just over medium rare towards medium. And as I get into it, as I get towards the thicker part, it's gonna be even pinker. And then that lovely syrupy gammon, just gonna do one nice slice. Now that is all my components done and dusted. It's been a long road to get here, but by God, it's gonna be worth it. So now all my vegetables, my potatoes, all my pigs in blankets, my stuffing, all those different pieces, all back in the oven, getting nice and hot, and we're gonna be ready to plate this up. So to plate up then. My three meats. Going in the centre, holly cheese, sprout. So there you are guys, we're here at last. Thank you very much for sticking with me all this week. I hope this has helped you out and getting you ready for the big day. Good luck, all the best, have a good Christmas and I'll see you in 2021.